Hey everybody, so in this one I am heading to the planet uh, Zepho. Currently on Pagano, just went to the temple, saw Eno Cordova's message, blah blah blah. So <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's pretty much the uh, the best kind of recap I can think of. If you guys could leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe as well, that would be great. For now though, let's get underway, shall we? On our way to Zepho. When this is all over, I think it'll be time to settle down, you know, fall in love, start a family. Love? You? Yeah, you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're gonna tell me. Let me tell you, it's the best, but a lot of work. It needs admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Jeez. That's actually very insightful. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Oh, well, that was... yeah. That was something. Grease, ladies' man. All right, we're here. Get in your chair. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. If it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over oh, here. Oh, hello. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. Why, thank you. Anyway, before I go, though, just some housekeeping. Hey, Grease, what's this thing? What? You've never seen a terrarium before? Sure, but don't they usually have plants in them? Well, I've been a bit busy hauling you around the galaxy. But you know, you could pay me back with some seeds. I thought you hated nature. When it's out there, you betcha. But when it's behind a comfortably thick wall of embar and glass, that's perfection. All right, I'll see if I can find any. Okay. And, yeah, time to mess. Ooh. Do I go with or orange as premium content? Do I have orange? I didn't know I had that. I know I had green and blue, I didn't know I had orange. Yeah, I didn't have orange. That's strange. I don't know why that's there. Don't ever remember having that option before now. Uh are, this is all new. Hang on. What? Didn't have any of these before. This must be something to do with like an update, maybe? I'm not gonna, well, I'm not gonna say no, but yeah. all right. The Umbaran campaign. Now that sounds familiar. Umbaran. Uh, Magito. Magito was in uh, Revenge of the Sith. It was like Kayadi Mundi, the corn, sh the corn, the guy with the corn head. Uh, that was his campaign. Uh. Hmm. That's nice.
Hmm. Do I go for the... Uh, uh, it's a long game, sort of. I'll uh, keep them both sort of, you know, relatively there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep it like this for now, and I'll sort of uh, change it up as the game goes on a bit. But yeah, it's cool now that uh, you know they've given me some extra content. I guess this might be stuff that w that was like available for pre-order, maybe, because I know some games give that away for, for free, or like make you pay for it later on down the line. All right, well that's my lightsaber. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. That hilt. Random, but yeah, kind of cool. Did not know any of that stuff was there, so that's uh, that's interesting. All right, let's uh, see if we can get something. Uh, do I go for force attunement or health? I think I'll go for health. Maximum life increased. Woohoo! Uh, let's get a move on, shall we? And uh, start exploring. Look at that, two steps off the ship and already coming across a collectible. Collectible, gotta catch them all. Collectibles. Something we can use? Ah, it's a new skin for the droid. That's nice. Another collectible. Gotta catch them all. Collectibles. Hey now. What was in there? Yeah, see new poncho material. That becomes a annoying um, uh, sort of trait in this, where you can just get poncho stuff and uh, outfits, which are just the same outfit but different colours. Like I mentioned um, in the last video. Yeah, stuff like that. It's kind of just meh. Nah. Like when you, when you, the moment you come across a color scheme you like, you just stick with it. Watch out, BD. You don't look friendly. Yep, that's called a stormtrooper. I know that. Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround and crack into theirs. Oh, for God's sakes. Come on, Cal. Ah, cool. I got a super... Maybe attack or whatever. What's in here then? Mm, nothing. It would seem. What is in here? Mother used this fabric to keep her child warm. They were on the run from something. Ooh, look what I came across. Stim crate. Should be here. Wait, can he carry more? Thanks, BD1. All right.
is okay, kind of annoying that there's no light in here at the moment. <coughs> Alright, let's do this. Okay, cool. That's, uh, yeah, well, there you go. That's something for you to note if you hope I'm playing this at some point. Or have done so and want to replay on harder difficulty. Right there is where you can find a life canister. Or like a, like a, a, a stim canister, or whatever it's called. I think there's like two or three on every planet, roughly. Does not look good. Don't be a target. Yeah. You don't scare me. That went really Stand. well, I think. I'm looking. Uh, what's down here then? Ah, hello. Oh, all right then. What is it? Ah, look at that. A new emitter. Okay, there he is. Hello. This doesn't go anywhere. I thought it might have. I got skills, I say, as I get shot. What are you doing here? Huh? Oh, oh god. I don't know why I keep thinking R1 and R2 are like, you know, the shoulder buttons actually do something in this, but they don't. Like attack-wise, so I keep pressing them. Luckily, uh, the AI keeps messing up, making mistakes. Oh god. BD-1? Hang on him! Oh, that should have chopped him in half. What? Where are you taking us? The Empire's forced the villagers from their homes. Frightened refugees, shipped off to work camps, or worse. Ah, collectible. Gotta catch them all. Collectibles. Alright, fire, come on. Ah, I see. You'd shoot a man in the back, you coward. Come back here. What is it? Yeah, hang on. Uh, yep, that is actually the one I usually wear. <coughs> so there you go. That's that one. Uh, what's this? Premium content. Uh, more premium content. All right, that's new. I'll try that. Any bit of premium content here? No, doesn't look like it. 
Gold Squadron. Premium content. Yeah, okay. I'll go for that one. I'm a poor for premium content. What can I say? Yeah, look at the way his hair moves. <laughs> it's just flops everywhere. I mean, it's like in the Arkham games, they give the cape its own sort of AI. Uh, I think they give his hair the same kind of treatment in this. Also, uh, in the next game, <coughs> whenever they get around to making it, they're gonna have to do it in such a way where he's already got, like, Jedi powers. So they're gonna have to come up with a new sort of tech tree, you know, a skill tree then, um, in a way, because they can't have him in two consecutive games learn to become a Jedi. There is, you know, I mean, there's like, there's interesting, and then there's just taking the piss. I mean, it's interesting, one time round, to see him sort of get these powers and, you know, face um, the Inquisitors and so on. But in the next one, if they go through some kind of bullshit uh, opening where he somehow loses his connection to the Force again, it's going to be like, well, that's just A, taking the piss, and B, you're really sort of run out of ideas after one game. Holding sl um, hmm. <coughs> Yeah, right, I'll, I'll go for that one. Does no one pay the power bill? Like, what's happening here? Why is it all dark? Everywhere is dark in this planet. Ah, collectible. Gotta catch them all, collectibles. Hey! What was in there? Ah, uh, thank God for that. Hey, wait, what? That is like... Oh, uh, what? Did we just, like, open those up or something? They weren't there the entire time, were they? Because just because the fan starts doesn't mean light is not coming through that gap. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, I assume we just opened up uh, the whole, you know, the doors or something. <coughs> the grates. Ah, the hell? Oh, come on! Yeah. <coughs> oh, come on! What? What's happening? Yeah. If anything, this game is teaching me that wildlife in the Star Wars universe just just have to be you know, hit with a lightsaber or shot. You can't trust them. Oh, come on. That looks like a problem. What the hell? Okay, I'll look. Oh, come on. Why would you do that? We're gonna take a beating with 
Why would you do that? Fire a rocket at me at point blank range. Platforming segments here, gotta love them. That's just ugly, isn't it? Like, really ugly. Whoa, that's gotta be one of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? That looks like one of the aliens from Independence Day. That's what that reminds me of. Target. Um, Alright. Your turn. He's moving. Time to shine. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Jedi. Yeah, one of the um, one of the things that kind of link it to Dark Souls, and, you know, comparison-wise as well, is the fact that uh, th every sort of map has a uh, shortcut system. So when you get to a certain distance, oh god, that was my mistake. When you get to a certain distance, you um, can find shortcuts that take you back to like, you know, the beginning of the level. Hmm, yeah, not yeah. yeah. Not really what I would have wanted from a Star Wars game, but whatever. Like I was hoping for something a bit more akin to uh, Jedi Academy. There's the Jedi. Jedi's weak. Take him out. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Stim, now. Stims won't save you. <laughs> Come on, don't let him get you. Fooled you. I can't push it. Ah, uh, nothing prepares you for how bright that screen is. Your eyes are just like, it feels like you're stabbed in the eyes. <laughs> Every time it goes from this to that bright white. Jedi! I'll break your guard! Hit him! Blast him again! Yes. Ah! Ah! No, 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 that was, um, cocky. Your guard is pretty solid. Mmm, collectible.
Ah, I keep doing it. I keep double jumping. <laughs> you can't double jump here. Oh, come on! Ugh. Opportunist motherfucker. Yeah, I can't blame him. Oh, that's that, that, yeah. I hate, I really hate those creatures. Uh, but there. Uh, and block from any, right. Respawn! Uh, where was the, oh god. I'm gonna have to do all that claiming again, aren't I? No, not the mic, because I cut the... Right before I died, I cut the rope, so I should be okay. Purely depends on when this game will load. That is the true villain in this game. The loading times. Alright, here we go. And killed him too. <laughs> and I took no damage from that. Amazing. You tit. I'll check it out. Project Orga. What is Project Orga? No, oh, no, it's just... Huh. It's just like a sort of, yeah, yeah... Uh, I can't even remember what it was called. Script of what he said. That's it. I thought it was actually going to be information. Got I got this! Oh. Hit him already! Ha! He's damaged! Oh, come on, I can't block. Well, I can, but... There you go, parry is what I'm trying to do. This does seem ridiculously dangerous. Again, I said it in the first part, and I'll say it again. The Empire has no health and safety. There's no one roaming around going, that's a little unnecessary. There should be railings there, and so on. Cal, the Empire's pinpointed your location. You need to move fast. On it. Thanks. Uh, 
then what skill should I get now? Probably force attunement would be a good bet. I don't know, what's this one? Uh, superior blocking. Or oh, empower. No, and superior block. Yeah, yeah. Me to his empty. All right, thanks for that. Oh, all right, then. Something we can use. Okay. When we get to the bottom of this, I'm probably going to call it a day. something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now. I said that, but alright, let me get to the end of this bit. track. Ah, look. Another place I can't go to. Can't get through. There's a storm up ahead. Something about it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. Follow it. Let the force sharpen your instincts. Alright. I'll do my best. Alright, well I'm gonna call it a day here, I think. Hope you've all enjoyed. Hope you're all enjoying the walkthrough so far. So this has been part three. Uh, if you guys could leave a like, comment and subscribe, that would be perfect. And wait around for the end screen and you'll get suggestions and stuff to check out as well. For now though, that's pretty much it, so until the next time, do look after yourself and do take care.